There's a lot of negative stereotypes out there about Gen Z. I'm not saying they're all true, but you know, they lack the attention span, they turn to dust if you take their iPhone away, and maybe they're a little sensitive because they're being raised in a generation where kids get ninth place trophies. But one thing that's fantastic that they don't get enough credit for is the prolific advancement in neuroscience that they're responsible for. For instance, I loved Harry Potter when I was growing up. Yes, it came out in 2001, which is like an eternity ago, but I was still a teenager back then. And I had to daydream, right, about entering the universe, going to Hogwarts, playing Quidditch, having a three-way with Hermione and Ron Weasley. <laughs> But now, kids no longer have to daydream about taking on a life in their favorite fictional universe. They can do it for real. I'm talking, of course, about a phenomenon called reality shifting, which is something being pioneered by what seems to be mostly Gen Zers on TikTok and other communities online, where you basically create your desired reality and through various methods, you're able to shift to that reality for as long as you want, and it is as real as the reality you are currently in right now. And sarcasm aside, if you're thinking to yourself, hey Leon, what the fuck is going on right now? I have no idea. Let's try to figure it out together. I just got mine. Okay, hear me out. So you know how everybody's talking about reality shifting and going to another universe? And I remember seeing back a video about a girl saying, oh, when I'm scripting, I write the characters to be taller than me. To fill you in, scripting is the act of writing a script of exactly how you want your reality to be. So you can make yourself taller, shorter. You could probably fly. Uh, one thing a lot of people like to do is go to Hogwarts and be part of the Harry Potter universe, as I memed about in the beginning of the video. Uh, that's one of the pieces to shifting your reality is creating a script of how you want that reality to be before you begin the method of actually shifting. Let's go on. I feel that. But then it got me thinking and then it got like really mind -caught. We can do that to their universe. What if somebody did that to us? And you're just created in someone's mind. Like this image of me is created in someone else's mind. Like in another universe, maybe I have like, I don't know, red hair or blue or pink. I don't know, whatever. Then maybe I'm like, what, five, seven? Or something else changes that they, don't, they, they want to change. Maybe that's why that theory about Sorry I look so bad, I just woke up and I just came back and I spent four months in my desired reality, but I came back because I thought I was going to die, but I wasn't, but at least Draco became nicer to me. So she just came back from a four month trip to her desired reality um, in the Harry Potter universe, apparently. Questions about shifting, can I die? No, if you die in your DR, desired reality, you just wake up. Can I change the way I look? Of course you can, just write how you want to look when scripting. Can I feel pain? If you want to, you can open the script that you don't feel any pain at all if you want as well. Shifting can take months. You may not get it straight away, but with the right amount of practice and the right methods, you can shift into your desired reality. Script and details, another uh, piece of advice. I asked Google how to live in an alternate universe. Came across reality shifting, which is learning how to access a parallel version of your life. So I'm gonna learn how to do this, and here's how I'm doing it. The first step is called scripting. Essentially, write out the details of your desired reality. This next step is a little weird, but when getting ready for bed, lay in a starfish position and begin to count to 100. Between each number, focus on progressing through your script. People have reported seeing a white light in entrance and even getting off a train, which is allegedly the entrance to your desired reality. But it did not work for me, and I gotta be honest, guys, I don't know about this one. <laughs> All right, so that kid just gave a little recap of what reality shifting is. Uh, the, as he mentioned, the starfish method. Uh, people have these different ways that you can go about trying to shift into your desired reality. One of them is like lying like a starfish in bed and counting backwards from 100. A lot of the methods seem strikingly similar to what it would be to try to get into like a lucid dreaming state or to just dream while you're asleep. So if you're having trouble following along, I don't blame you, but try and pay attention. We're gonna we're gonna dig a little deeper. I have someone here that's gonna better explain what's going on. There's a community uh, on Amino, which is an app apparently I didn't know existed until now. I think it's kind of like a Gen Z thing where there's some hardcore reality shifters and they have taken issue with the TikTok reality shifting community because like TikTok does, it bastardizes everything. So there's the purists on Amino who like this, write these long, long, long detailed uh, instructions about the different aspects of reality shifting and the methods and the vibrations, the affirmations, the scripts, subliminals. Uh, and one of the other things she talks about is the false things that people are talking about on TikTok because while some of them may be uh, authentic, there's a lot of people on TikTok that just bastardize everything and it becomes a big meme, right? Which is how the internet works. So if you're able to shift your reality into the Harry Potter universe, rest assured, 
if you come back to your current life, which is where you are right now, Voldemort can't come with you. Uh, so that's great news. <laughs> I know I've thrown a lot at you so far this video. That's why I wanna to turn to this How to Shift Realities 101 YouTube video to help further clarify what's going on here. Now, usually I stay away from spirituality-based things because I understand that everyone has their own set of beliefs, but I noticed that there's a ton of misinformation regarding this topic on TikTok. Not to mention that there are lots of contradictory things that are just not helping anyone. If you wanna be able to shift your reality to your desired reality, you got to get straight to the facts. Stop believing the misinformation on TikTok. It's a tough, it's tough to know what to believe on the internet. So it's nice to have kind of this resource we can turn to so you can comfortably shift to that reality where you're lying on a beach in Barbados and supermodels are feeding you grapes and strawberries. Just start with saying that if you're Gen Z, I know that half of y'all are wanting to shift to Hogwarts just to tango with Draco. Y'all aren't slick. I see all your thirsty comments on TikTok. So that apparently was part of the, I think the memification of reality shifting on TikTok is wanting to shift to Hogwarts to be able to bang Draco became like this funny thing and everyone started uh, adopting that uh, what desired reality. But the reality is your DR can be whatever you want. So I could go to Hogwarts just to lift up Severus Snape's robe to see what kind of meat he's packing under all those layers. Just something that I might want to do. Wet ass pussy make that pullout game weak. Stop, dude. Shifting isn't rocket science. Anyone can do it. We're actually shifting dozens of times in every moment that we're alive. And most of us don't even realize it. Every breath we take is shifting. Every time we blink, we're shifting. This is because every time we complete an action, whether involuntarily or not, we open up another reality in which we didn't take that action, where we didn't take that breath, or we blinked a second later, or a second before. If this concept is kind of hard for you to understand... Yes, it is. <laughs> Here's an easier example. You enter a flower shop. What do you buy? You could buy one rose or 12. You could buy daffodils or carnations. In fact, you could decide that you don't even want to buy anything in the store. So you just turn around and leave the shop. Each of those are possibilities and in turn, each of those are different realities. The choice you make is what allows you to align with that one reality, that one specific reality out of the infinite amounts that are out there. Then you follow down that reality path without even being aware. See, I'm getting lost here because I think we're this whole idea of there being infinite realities really loses sight of what the actual word reality means. For instance, in this moment right now, I have Nigel on my shoulder and I have two options. One is to be gentle and kiss him on the nose and the other option is to be abusive like I sometimes am when I'm fed up with his bullshit. So if I decide in this reality, give him a gentle kiss on the nose, that means I just created another reality in which I slammed his fucking head on the table. So every nanosecond I've decided not to do something, it's created another reality where I did decide to do that something. So if I hold my breath, I just created another reality where I kept breathing continuously through that segment. What I'm trying to say is that this is some smooth brain bullshit and it worries me that there are so many people that subscribe to nonsense like this, but it really should not be surprising at this point because look at, I mean, you look at older generation adults and where do you think QAnon came from? At least in this case, it's seemingly younger kids having a little bit of harmless fun. Although harmless may not be the right word, this whole thing seems like a crash course on how to develop dissociative identity disorder. The reason why we don't experience those other realities is due to the fact that we're acutely aware of this reality, our current reality, and that awareness keeps us bound to just this reality. But as I just mentioned, there are other realities. And because there are infinite realities, there are definitely some realities where you're playing Quidditch in Hogwarts or battling an entire droid army in the Clone Wars. So you mean to tell me there's a reality where every time I'm faced with the feeling of having to take a shit, I decide to shit in my pants? So for months on end, I'm just walking around without having cleaned myself with just thousands of pounds of shit in my pants because I've always made the decision to not clean myself in that particular reality. That reality exists, that's fucked up. I gotta tell you, I much prefer this reality where I only occasionally shit my pants and usually it's not on purpose. Question two, can I die? No, it's more like a game over sort of situation. Let's say you die in that reality, you're literally just gonna open your eyes up a millisecond later and be back in this current reality. It's almost like this is the only reality <laughs> and everything else is just part of your imagination. You know what, I'm, you know what, you know what's happening? This is what's happening. Hear me out. Here's my theory about what's going on here. Okay. And this may be very boomer of me, but when I was growing up, we had to play with trucks and dirt and 
There were no screens to put us in front of 24 hours a day. You use your imagination. I think what's happening here is we're now raising our kids in generations where every waking moment, there's something in front of them to occupy them, right? Whether it's a cell phone, an iPad or something like that. And the more we put these screens in front of them, the less these kids have to use their own imagination as they grow up. So we have this first generation of iPad raised kids are becoming teenagers now. And this is basically them discovering what it means to use your imagination for the first time. It's either that or they've just discovered what having a dream is for the first time. Question number three. Can I change things in this reality? Unfortunately, you can't change things in this reality because it's the foundation. Unfortunately, you can't change anything in this reality because it's actual real life and not a dream and a figment of your imagination. There, I fixed it for you. You need to lie down in a starfish position with none of your limbs touching. From there, you count up to 100 or down from 100. Along the way, while you're counting, you should be saying affirmations every five counts or so. Affirmations include, I am shifting, shifting is easy, I am weightless, I am more than a physical body, etc. 57, 56, 55, I am shifting, 54, 53, I am Mario in a Tanuki suit, 52, 51, I am sucking the entire length of Bowser's dick. All right, so I think we get the picture of what this reality shifting is. I wanna look at uh, another video on YouTube from someone who just had their first shifting experience to kinda of see what that feels like, what that looks like from their perspective. And I wanna tell you guys, I think I shifted last night. Yes, I I know, and it wasn't even for that long. That's the thing, I wasn't able to control how long it was. But this is my this is my shifting story. My shifting story finally to Hogwarts. Right, so she chose Hogwarts, which seems to be the most popular place people want to shift to. And then I laid down, and then I fucking woke up in the Gryffindor dormitories. Did you though? <sighs> was like the same feeling I got last time where I actually like I I felt sh like sorry I'm like still trying to fucking comprehend this so I want to tell you guys um a lot of people have questions about like some signs about shifting yeah yeah I do I have a lot of fucking questions about the science of shifting please enlighten me but I had these memories from my you know my other life my alter my alter the fuck I get dog what I suppose like uh me in the Malfoy Manor with Draco and we were just like play fighting you know as friends do and I was like what the fuck and I'm like this this gotta be my imagination yes that's exactly what the fuck it is your imagination all of these things you're talking about are figments of your imagination. It's not another reality that exists somewhere else. It's just your brain. This is the only reality there is, the one you live in. And unfortunately for a lot of people, their current reality comes with a lot of pain and suffering. And apparently, at least what it seems like is this is a new mechanism for kids to cope with the current pain and suffering of real life, of the reality. And it worries me a little bit. I wanna be clear, I like this video isn't like a, oh, look at these, you know, these kids, like these whatever, like some videos I poke fun at people. I'm just wondering what the fuck is going on. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm curious what you guys think about it because to me, it seems like where the, there's just these this large demographic of what seems to be Gen Zers mostly that are discovering what it means to either use their imagination in tandem with uh, you know, having some vivid dreams perhaps, and they're spinning it off as this idea that you can, um, you know, just transport to a whole nother reality that's as real as this one, uh, that you can't die, unfortunately. So you can do whatever you want. And I'm like, is it, is it a coping mechanism? Is this like willingly trying to give yourself DID? Like, I don't know, don't hate me in the comments. I don't know a lot about the disease, but it just seems very strange. We're trying to detach ourselves from our current reality. Like everyone needs ways to entertain themselves, right? This life can get tough, man. In so many different ways and you can unwind or you can escape in a book or a movie like Harry Potter, like a lot of these kids do. I like to play video games. Some people will play games like Warcraft where you can kind of build these online lives and get lost in that. But it's, this to me feels like this kind of strange, unhealthy level of detachment from reality. I don't know, man, maybe I sound like an idiot and these kids are on the cutting edge 
of lucid dreaming and neuroscience and I'm just like eating their dust. So I worry about these kids who are spending all of this time and energy trying to shift their reality, so to speak, um, when really that time and energy should be used uh, trying to figure out how we can create a better uh, version of the only reality that exists, which is the one we're in right now. I'm curious to know what you think. I know I have a large range of ages that follow my channel. So if you're older, maybe you feel like I do. If you're younger, have you shifted? Do you know friends that are in these communities that are going to bed trying to wake up at fucking Hogwarts? I appreciate you watching as always. And if you could do me a favor, next time you're doing the Raven method and you're lying starfish on the bed, you could actually flip over pull the cheeks apart and, and expose your actual star fist and then stand up and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. I would appreciate that. And we'll see you soon in the next video. Peace. I need you more.